Hello there. Who's ready to learn about history? Or more specifically, Brickle West history? Then let's get started. Brickle West is most commonly believed to be located somewhere in South Florida. Few know of the true scope of its history. And as a cooperation between BNN and the Brickle West Culture Organization, we will be exploring its telling culture today. Today, we will try to see how we got from a group of wily settlers to an organized government with the flag you see behind us. In the 1890s, a group of settlers arrived in the Brickle Territory, while fending off Native American raids from the sitting Lemurs tribe. Well, sorry about that guys. It seems we may have lost our deal with BNN, and our electronics are also in the fritz. But that doesn't matter. For now on, I will be hosting your lovely program. Well, we got some stuff to get through today, so let's get right to it. <coughs> Told you it was broken. Well, soon after the first settlers arrived, a criminal gang set themselves up in Brickell territory. They called themselves the Brickell Raiders, and they robbed many places during this time period. Above is one of the few known pictures of the Brickell Raiders. In 1935, the Brickell Brick Factory exploded under suspicious circumstances. Many conspiracy theorists believe that Govan Powder was involved. Since this picture makes me blend in, the animation department gave me a new look. This picture covers quite possibly the saddest day in Brickell history. These were the separation riots, in which East, South, and especially Northern Brick aliens took to the streets for separation from the West. As the West had been in control for decades, some silly people were tricked by the North into believing that West Brickell should share its power. Eventually, after a long, bloody and complicated war that we won't get into today, the rest of Brickell declared independence from West Brickell. This divided Brickell into Brickell West and so-called Brickell. However, many citizens of Brickell West were happy that the war was over, and that they wouldn't have to go to those barbecues with those annoying North Brick aliens anymore. Picture above is Louis von Hamburgler IV celebrating the new government of Brickell West. So, there you have it. A very basic outline of Brickell West history up to Brickell West independence. As you can see, Brickell West has a strong and turbulent past that still affects it today. If you would like to see more Brickell West history, subscribe to Brickell West official and look up Chaz Woodson on Wikipedia to find out official website. Once there, you have access to Brickell West, a historia which is a best-selling novel covering all of Brickell West history. Goodbye, and see you next time.